best dynamic song. Thank God that he speaks and wants to speak to our lives. We welcome our next guest. We're so thrilled to have James Regan here with us today. Bless you, Brother God bless James. You. Bless you. So good to have you. And uh, James, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your ministry. Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to say, uh, talk about my wife, Miriam. She's a beautiful wife. She's back in the back praying now. She's a prayer warrior in our church. Uh, my son, Lawton, uh, he just graduated from school. Uh, he's going into the National Guard to serve our country. And uh, as far as my church, we're from Believers Christian Center. Uh, it's headed up by Pastor Henry Adams, Jr. and his wife, Laverne Adams. They're both very loving people, anointed. People are coming from all around to get touched by the power of God there. Uh, as far as my job is concerned, uh, I'm at a phase one drug research center. And uh, uh, excuse me. And uh, basically, we test drugs on real people, and that's before it gets FDA approved. Uh, as far as my education, I'm a five-year Bachelor of Science. I've, done, I've had 25 years of experience in the laboratory. I ha, I've studied courses like biochemistry, organic chemistry, mm -hmm. toxicology, genetics, things like that. Uh, but uh, uh, you might want to, uh, there's a clip that introduces our, all the answers uh, that might be interesting Good. to other people. Let's, uh, let's watch this and then we'll come back and talk. Everybody, <laughs> look at this. Hi, I'm here to tell you about our website, allofTheAnswers.com. But first, our disclaimer: no human being knows all of the answers, but you can know the one who does. All of the answers started about two and a half years ago in an effort to provide answers to difficult questions and issues affecting the world and the church. The world of the internet, the information age, or the age of misinformation. With so much knowledge at our fingertips, more and more people turn to the internet for answers. James Reagan, our science writer and co-founder, he also wrote a book entitled My Words Your Spirit and Life. Upon writing his book, Jim clearly broke new ground in exploring the signature creative patterns found throughout creation. Jim's passion for scientific exploration in Jim's world began to emerge as a means to show that science proves the word of God. The use of new and emerging technology in our quest to win the lost, Jim and I have been able to do live internet broadcasts, produce short videos, and a whole lot more. The battle for truth and the setting the record straight has never been greater. This is why we want to spread the word about allofTheAnswers.com. Young people today are bombarded with information, and there's a crisis of wanting to know who can I believe. AllOfTheAnswers.com is a great, incredible source of truth, Bible-based truth about God and about life. That was really interesting, and I'm curious as why you chose the title all the answers when your disclaimer starts right off and say we don't have all the answers. <laughs> well, actually, that's very true. There's, we don't have all the answers, but God does. <laughs> And basically, the reason why we chose the name All the Answers is because uh, uh, we know that many people are searching for answers. They put in all kinds of strings, like All the Answers, All of the Answers. Uh, there's troubled times out there in our world events, and they're looking for answers. And uh, we wanted to have 40, we have over 40 pages for Christians and non-Christians alike. They can browse all kinds of topics there. But one of the topics that we've been following very close is some end time news events and, uh, and in our world. And, and uh, if you look in Revelation and Daniel 2 and 7, they talk about prophecies of a one world government. Okay? And uh, you've, we've heard other pastors talk about the one world government being revived as, a, as the old ancient Roman Empire. Well, if we look here on this map here. Yeah, we've got a we, chart right here. Okay. We can see the territories of the European Union right here. And underneath, we have the Mediterranean Union. Uh, it's headed by Gaddafi, who's claimed himself to be a king of kings. Uh, they are both in partnership together. And it looks like the eastern and western there. Now, here's the Roman Empire down below. And you can see the territories that were in the old Roman Empire, and you can see the territories are very, very similar. 
But uh, a lot of people don't realize how far advanced into prophecy we are. In fact, there are two. In fact, these two appear to represent the two big toes in the statue of Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel uh, in Nebuchadnezzar's dream in Daniel chapter two. There. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that there's two other toes that are already up and running. Now, if you go to Framework, you can follow these developments. And uh, the world is heading quickly towards uh, globalization. And it all looks good, and it's all coming together. And I want to say is to the body of Christ, are we willing to start coming together as the body of Christ? Uh, I'm, God talked to me back there uh, when I was getting ready. And it's in his heart. It grieves him. It's grieved him for years, the body of Christ being divided uh, with the denominations. There's not going to be denominations in heaven. Okay? The body of Christ is needing to come together to stand up and walk in this as we come towards uh, the returning of Jesus. Yeah, James, you talk about the <laughs> globalization of the worlds kind of coming together in the one world economic, one world religious, one world political system, and yet Christians can still be divided. That's why on our emphasis today about the National Day of Prayer and the Global Day of Prayer, it's so exciting that from all the various Christian denominations and Christian groups that we we can gather and galvanize our hearts together Amen. about praying and calling upon our God. <laughs> so, uh, James, yes. hey, listen, it's amazing, and you're pointing it out today, and I hope you folks are picking up on this, how the Bible throws so much light upon the world events that are transpiring right now. All events have been foreseen by God, and they're coming up on us quickly. Yeah. You know, Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9 and 10, God says, I'm God, and there's none else. I'm God, and there's none like me. And here's how he's unlike any other God, declaring the end mm. from the beginning. Mm. And the things that are not yet done, declaring my counsel will stand and I'll perform all my purposes. Amen. I'll tell you, that's what makes God different than all the other religions. I'd like for some of the other, you know, for Muhammad or some of the others to try to tell us what's going to happen in the future. But God states his authenticity and validity upon fulfilled prophecy. And you're yes, sort of, sir. hey, listen, I, I notice, I, I want you to tell uh, our viewers a little bit about some of the scientific uh, proof of the Bible. Well, some of the proof of the Bible that really, yeah, that really is is showing us the validity and authenticity of Scripture. Well, there is so much biblical proof and scientific.